Welcome back, everyone. Well, with the kids back in school and the craziness of those fun-filled summer weekends behind us, may seem like it's time now to have settled back into somewhat of a fall routine. That's right. Now, if you're struggling to find order in your day, Karen Dahl of Organizing Madison is back with us. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. And you've brought a lot of good ideas to yeah. start with. We always have problem areas in the home. Yes. Right? Yes. And it, it tends to be areas where clutter builds up, the kitchen, home office, and things like that. So I brought along some tools that can help to tame that clutter. And I wanted Lee to be part of this because Lee has all of this in her. <laughs> Lee is meticulously organized. Yeah, so. I do color coordinate my closet, which everyone laughs at me for. Right. But. Well, one tool I brought is this easy drawer organizer. Um, this one here is designed for cutlery in the kitchen. But the nice thing about these organizers that they make these days is that they're adjustable so they can fit all kinds of drawers. So oh, these sure. are great That's really for cool. yeah, yeah, the way so, it expands. Because a lot of times you'll have a gap, and this way you can eliminate that problem. And you can buy those really cheap, just rectangular ones yep. and put them in for utensils, which is what I've done. Absolutely. And it was like three bucks and really right. easy. I did two at one point, but they're overflowing with other <laughs> things. <laughs> If you're on a budget, you can use, you know, old check boxes are perfect for organizing pens and office supplies. Oh, look at you. Oh, yeah, that's a really Thrifty good idea. Trick. Organizing expert over there. Very good. Okay. This is right. nice. These things are really handy. These are great, especially for in the kitchen or in the bathroom under the sink, because they allow you to make Stack. shelves where there aren't shelves. So you're usual, utilizing the vertical space. Um, you can put things underneath and on top. And then when you go to grab something, you're not knocking over a whole big pile of things. So if in your cabinet you've got something that's this high, yep. you can use this to put some separation Absolutely. in. And they even make ones now that help you to avoid the plumbing underneath the sink. So, oh. yeah, really handy. Where? Um, Where? Target, Menards, does that everywhere. Beyond. Just yeah, look for it? Yep. Interesting. Very okay. cool. Yep. Yep. And what then, I this. love this. This is one of my favorite. These are actually little magnetic little oh. storage containers, which are great uh, for office supplies, paper clips, things like little odds and ends. Well, I have um, some really cool. store spices in these. And these yeah. are some spices, spices. And, um, yep. and these can go on the refrigerator. And here I even brought, um, this is just a, a magnetic strip. strip that I found that you could just anchor to the wall, and then you can put this anywhere. So it makes it really handy when you've got little things. It's great for in a closet for buttons or different things that are always falling all over your closet. Oh, that's you know, a really I know good we idea. talked about this last year, but especially as we are heading into the colder months, mm -hmm. um, people are getting hats, mittens, scarves, all that yep. stuff back out. What is your best piece of advice for putting that someplace where it's going to be organized yep. and easy to grab? Well, first thing is, is designate one place. Don't designate three places. Um, but baskets are great, and a, you know, designate a basket for each person. Um, the shoe containers that you can hang from a rod, those are great, actually, for hats and mittens because you can stuff things right in there. And then you're not digging through a whole big basket to find them, too. So there are a lot mm. of little great containers. I would recommend not going too big with those containers because, again, you have the problem of digging through And it. do you ever reuse, sometimes stores give really nice bags when you buy something that are thick mm -hmm. and kind of a nice size. That's yep. what I use for mine. Those are great. Yeah, because things that linens free. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Very nice. Those are a great idea. All right, most important piece of advice heading into fall to just, you know, only pull keep it what you need, keep what you use, keep what you love. The rest of it, donate, get rid of it, recycle it. We won't even know it's gone. Less is better. <laughs> you won't. You're right. All right, Karen, thanks so much for coming thanks back for in. Me. We're going to take a camera into Lee's uh, place sometime. I have some good some ideas. Organized. You do. David George is back with the final check on your forecast, so we come back.